true that you are a slave like everyone else you were born into bondage born into a prison a prison for your mind Greetings. today i want to speak to you concerning never got a closed chapter just to remind you that they have been teaching you how to become a follower of those who would have lived and moved on and they're doing that to distract you of those who are in the living presence bringing the same message of self-realization to you bringing the same message of deliverance to you now let me explain something very much simple for you that you will be able to understand what I'm saying whenever someone would have done a great work on this planet and they leave their work is to bring to you confirmation of the other man who is bringing that same message to you so you have to use that person work as confirmation not to become a follower because if you become a follower, you're following a closed book. You're following one who would have already closed the chapter when he would have gone to the place of his chronicles. That is why anyone who would have read my Bible, you would realize my Bible, which is the 66 books of magic, that it end with the book of chronicles. Because chronicles is where you would have turned the last chapter or the last leaf. In other words, you would have played the last note on this planet and you would have transcend. Okay, I ascend out of this body, you're gone. Okay, so if you become a follower, it's as if you're trapped in a religion and your faith is based around this certain man and what this man teach and if you just keep repeating what that person say you will not be able to go any further with your life that is why all the people who are camping around the law and camping around manifesting certain things here they are only living in the realm whereby they are easing the blows of Caesar but when it comes to know, knowing your true identity, when it, come in, when it comes to understand the spiritual world, when it comes to understand who you are, when it comes to awaking out of the dream of life, many people haven't gone to that place as yet. So there are different levels. And that is why Neville said he wanted to have, wanted he didn't want to have anything to do with trying to gain in the world or all the things of these material things okay and all of that in lessons to teach you that when you become just a follower how you be like those who was just falling for bread and fish just to be sustained and i want to go just a little deeper for you you see in the spirit world when you concentrate and following one would have already closed the chapter if you meet them in the dream world you'll be hearing their voice whatever message they would have preached or uh, whatever lecture they would have done or uh, what they would have read on this planet you'll be hearing that because even, even as i'm speaking to you you hear now when i leave you my voice is still here in another realm in another dimension so basically you'll be still hearing that person in that dimension but if you are a follower you will never find that person in that dimension <laughs> and you exactly what i'm speaking about and that is why I did a video earlier on saying to go beyond Neville Garden. Go beyond the law and come 
to realize that true salvation is self-realization. Make it personal. You live the life. He was just a signpost. So do not hold on to the signpost. It's just to bring confirmation to you concerning your experiences. That's what it's all about. So my brother, my sisters, I want to say to you, if you listen to me and you happen to look like me, I'm telling the honest truth that many of our people are trapped in the spirit world because they have become followers and not leaders. They have never allowed their intuition to lead them and guide them. They will have allowed others to lead them and guide them and they get trapped in the spirit world. And that is why not many can come to this planet to bring certain messages to help our people. Because many of them, they're trapped. You see, sometimes I don't want to go into certain deep, deep, deep things because some people are just not ready for these deep things. Because why? They're so caught up in the physical. It's like they're so, they're so oddly minded. It's, it's as if they're not spiritually good. But you have to learn to have balance. That is why you are told if you seek for the kingdom and you really, really discover the kingdom, the kingdom of the higher self, the true self. If you really, really discover true happiness, joy and peace within yourself, you wouldn't worry about nothing else. The law is, the law is primary. That, that, that is elementary. The law is elementary. But coming to know who you are is the most powerful thing. So, my brother, my sisters, Neville Gather chapter has already been closed. And that is something they've been doing over and over and over. They always do that. So, whoever is on the scene presently, who have gone even higher than that person, they're going to keep you at the level of the person who would have already died. It's living backwards. It's the same thing that people believe in a man who died 2,000 years ago, which is not even true. Could you imagine, right, that someone would have invented the aeroplane and people start flying from place to place and you still dwelling at the place of horse and buggy? Uh, pony, the time of the Pony Express riding a horse to carry a message how to travel that's living backwards and that is why you have certain countries that they refer to as first world countries and third world countries you know? it's a kind of mentality it's a backward way of thinking so my brother my sister so that's why I did the video whereby I, I, I said to you to go beyond Neville Garden it's not something just literal. It's something very much spiritual. I know what I'm saying to you. Okay? Because I've gone into that world. I know which world I'm speaking about. That you get chopped. Okay? You die in that consciousness. You're talking about we never say, never say, never say, never say, never say, and never say, and never say, and never say. Get out of that. It's just like the Christian saying, and Jesus say, and Jesus say, and Jesus say. Get out of that. Live in the now. Don't look backwards. Forward. So with that, this is my brother and sister. I just want to say that this message will not go down good with everybody. Not everybody will understand. But for those who this is resonating with, I want to thank you very much for listening to me. And I want to say to you, if this is the very first time that you listen to me and you haven't subscribed already, definitely I want to encourage you to subscribe, to like, to comment, and to share this video. Also, if you like to have one-on-one -on -one with me, you are most welcome because I would definitely like to open up to you the inner sun science and technology whereby I can do an inner sun bible study with you to show you that the bible is all about the inner solar system and how you must understand the relationship of the inner solar system with the outer solar system and get in alignment to change your life whichever way you want it to be and if you have any common sense you'd realize that the outer solar system always brings forth bountifully and if you're in alignment with your inner solar system, you have to bring forth bountifully. So my brother and my sisters, when you realize that the Bible should not just be understood psychologically only, but you must be able to tie in the scripture along with nature, 
then you will understand where I am coming from and why I'm encouraging you to get a further understanding of what Neville would have thought. So if you feel strongly led to have that one-on-one -on -one with me, you can definitely do so. Uh, you can choose to do my $20 course, which is called the Inner Sun Science and Technology to Create Your Reality Country. So I'm actually laying the foundation of this technology. Okay, so you can listen to those thoughts if you choose to. And then you can let us get into the one-on-one -on -one after you would have really get the foundational teaching of what I'm trying to get across to you. Also, if you would like to follow me on Instagram or you like to follow me on TikTok, you can definitely follow me at Black Mad Guru. And if you feel strongly led to support this work, I just want to remind you that we have a PayPal and the link is always down below. So with that being said, I want to say peace. <laughs> Love you all. I'm out.